Welcome back to That Entrepreneur Show. I'm your host, Vincent A. Lancy. Hello, and I'm Marco Novo. As we head into the last two weeks of season seven, we are going to go international for both episodes. For this week's episode and week eight, we have Marco Novo joining the show from Portugal. What can you expect from tuning in today? Each week, I interview a different entrepreneur from across the globe. I will continue to offer episodes in all industries to provide you with many different perspectives. You never know which motivational journey will inspire you most. Each guest will take you through their story and help you learn from their successes and lessons learned. Our guest on the show this week is someone who I connected with from one of my mentors turned friends, Tony Alexander. Marco Novo is streaming today from Portugal and his positivity and work ethic are both highly contagious. I have now had the opportunity to appear on his extremely popular live shows on a few occasions and have met a lot of amazing people on these shows. Marco runs his own brand and has been at it for many years, so his stories can jumpstart your endeavors. From all things brand management to marketing and consulting, this episode has it all. I'm excited for you all to learn more of his journey, so allow me to now introduce Marco Novo. Marco, it's great to see you again, and thank you so much for coming on the show. Hello, hello, Vincent. It's a, it's a pleasure and an honor to be on your podcast, of course. It's always good to, to meet again, <laughs> to, to see again new friends, and to share these passions and these lessons we learned, and to, to help people to find the most easier and fast way to success and to achieve their uh, goals, which is always very good. I think we both um, agree on this. It's so grateful to know that somehow we helped someone to, to get results. So uh, that's why we, we do what we do. So it's, it's a pleasure to be here on your show, of course. It's a pleasure to have you. And absolutely, storytelling is extremely powerful. Your story may resonate with someone who really needs that extra push. But would you mind now please introducing yourself to our listeners and previewing your story just a bit without giving away too much of your entrepreneurial journey? Well, I'm located in the north of Portugal. I live in the countryside of a small uh, town in Portugal. Uh, and there's there's this funny thing. One day I had a, a guest on my show from Austin, Texas. And he was saying, oh, I live. this is a small town. I think it was around... 4 million people or 3 million people. And I say, oh my God, I th it's, it's one third of the Portuguese population. So <laughs> it's, it's a very small uh, country and uh, where I live, it's very even smaller. For instance, this village where I live, it's around 1000 people. So you, you may understand how big it is. And I, first I wanted to be a physical uh, education teacher and then I for accident I felt in the uh, marketing degree it was very hard for me at the beginning because I didn't have any uh, foundations on businesses and right. this management I didn't know anything about it and I missed I skipped lots of classes mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and but then I felt in love and I I love this uh, this marketing thing, this entrepreneurial, because I think I it was my father's heritage because he, he was an entrepreneur. He had his own business, and then uh, one day I I was working to someone else, and one day I say, okay, I'm enough is enough. Let me start my own businesses, or my my business. I will soon it will become businesses, and then. Um, I start a connection, uh, connecting with people. I love to connect with people from Portugal, from Spain. I, I, for, yep. I think I'm about to reach three different uh, nationalities on my show. So that, that's me. I like to connect people, connect with people to see how we can interact, how we can give and share our knowledge, our experiences, uh, and to make us 
it's other richer. I think it's something that we should, and I'm not talking about money, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's very, very well put. And I think it, your episode is going to help a lot of people because of how much you give back to people in questions like I'm about to ask you. So let's get into the big. Let's go. <laughs> Each episode, my guest and I will go over these five questions to help you, the listeners, learn what it's really like to be an entrepreneur. You ready to go, Marco? I'm ready. Great. So when did you realize that you either weren't happy with what you were doing or that you needed some kind of change to truly start your entrepreneurial journey? Please share your story. Well, as I said, I, I felt in love with this of, uh, uh, marketing uh, some, somewhere during my, my degree. And I, I understand that and that's, uh, that's, uh, if you want to put me upset, it's just saying that marketing is to fool people, to, to, to make bad things on people, to make them do something that they, won't, uh, they don't want to do or they will regret at the end. So there's not, and so I, I see marketing as a, a way to help people. Then I finished my degree as uh, many students. I looked for uh, a company who could uh, have me as an employee, you know, and to, to learn something, but mostly to put in practice uh, my ideas, uh, the things I learned, because uh, there's, I think this, this, there's this uh, mistake uh, when we make this transition from school to market is, Someone, oh, so what do you want to do on our company? Well, you know, I want to learn. No, you learned in the in the degree. Now it's time to help, to put in practice, to to try to make things better. I think it's one of the because you are learning all the time. You know, if if you don't learn uh, all the time, I think you, you you have a problem. So I think is there's no need to to say to someone who's in front of you who may come will become your employer. Uh, employer. Uh, there's no need to say to him or to her, uh, you, you're here to, to learn because they, they don't want you to, to learn there. Uh, to, to, your main objective to be to learn is to help them to make the company better, more profitable, and to please better the, the customer. So I, I, I was trying all the time to, to help more than I, could, uh, than I was doing this. So they... they they didn't get the point, and then uh, it arrived uh, an opportunity for me to to go to work as a trainer, you know. Some and I was uh, working on training around uh, two years, and then it came uh, during this. My father got uh, I, I don't know, ALS. I think it's the the right tr translation. This this disease they made the bucket the bucket challenge. You know. Yes, ALS. My 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 father got this that disease. It was they, they were uh, tough tough times, as you may may understand. Then my father unfortunately passed away about ten years ago, and I I was uh, it was a tough time for me. Then I got a job on a, a small hotel as a receptionist, but I was doing also marketing uh, things because I was the, the, the solo player, if you know what I mean. I, I needed to play the whole instruments of the, the, the orchestra. And um, I had a very bad uh, boss who was a kind of a bully, you know, and he was uh, pissing me off all the time. And then one day I said, okay, uh, I will start looking for something else. And th there's one advice I will give you to, to your audience. If you're not sure that your idea uh, will succeed, please do this transition without giving up on side to go to, to the other. For instance, yep. at, at the end of the day, invest one, two, three hours in your project. And once you see this, this will go good, Start doing the transition, but uh, well, if you have uh, enough money, I will say, okay, do it. <laughs> Jump into the pool without uh. hesitation. But uh, without this this situation, for instance, I started on a, on a group called, you know, a networking uh, association called BNE. I think it started there in America. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I 
uh, I started there and I see, okay, my, my business has uh, legs to walk, as we like to say here. And then I started on, on my own uh, consultant and uh, training uh, marketing thing. Your marketing experience, you've been through every step of the way now, gathering these little <laughs> bits and pieces, and you've turned it into your own brand. But since you full on went with your own entrepreneurial endeavors, Marco, what would you say one or two of the most difficult parts of being an entrepreneur are for you? Well, one of the, one of the things is, uh, even though in the, I had this business uh, training and learning, even though you may have all the tools on your toolbox, they will miss the most important, which is experience. And um, that's it. Uh, be aware, be open to mistakes, be open to be wrong, because it's for sure. It's, it's for sure that, and it's not the end of the world. I don't, I, I'm not saying I'm not a, a prophet of, being wrong or failing, I'm not a prophet because it hurts a lot. Yes. But be open to that. Understand that mistakes, that failure, that uh, mistaken uh, steps will happen. Be open to that. And uh, take the right lessons from that. And the other thing that is very important, and I missed that also, it's understand pretty well from the beginning, how will you make money? Mm -hmm. Okay, because we, we, we are always afraid, oh, when should I start selling? Oh, me, people may, may get upset with me because I want to sell them something. No, make it sure, make it clear. How will I make money? And then come backwards and understand how will you build the way to that happen, okay? Is it through content? Is it, is it through someone working with you, a sales rep, uh, whatever? But understand, okay? I my and uh, a, a good a good thing about when you're uh, working by yourself uh, and you're the only player on the mm -hmm. on the, the the orchestra on the band, find the sweet spot between what you want, love most to do and what you do it better. It's the sweet spot of your product or service for you to make money because th this was another mistake I made. I thought, okay, maybe because people are asking for this, I know a little about this, maybe this could be the, the right way for me to start. And it was a mistake yeah. because I was not good enough with that. I didn't love enough doing that and I didn't do that well. So it's, it's my, well, I made an, an extra advice. <laughs> well, I love the entire answer there, Marco. And something I can resonate with is when I started this, I didn't really have a plan to monetize in the, in the beginning. I, I really didn't. I was doing great things. I was making headway, getting some momentum, but I didn't have that plan until I finally got some proper guidance. And I understand too how, I, I certainly relate. You have to be willing to accept failure or the lessons learned and learning from others. As entrepreneurs, we all put pressure on ourselves to be perfect, but you have to realize it's impossible to be perfect. So once you take that little bit of pressure off yourself, it will allow you to accomplish that much more because you're able to think a little more freely. But speaking of all these lessons learned here, Marco, what is one of your greatest failures or lessons learned and what did it teach you? Why is it still stuck with you all the way up until today? Well, this, this could be, uh, this may sound a little bit uh, strange, but I, I gave too much. I gave too much for free. And uh, when people get too much from you for free, one, you won't get money. Mm -hmm. And this is important. You may have this clear, even though you want, for instance, even non-profit companies, they need money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need money as well because you want to, and it's some, somehow a way to, 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 to feel realized, so to feel, okay, I'm doing it well, I'm doing good because that's how you, you, things work. So, and the other, the, the other problems you find by this is when you give it, when you give it for free, 
people won't uh, acknowledge you. People won't uh, see the value you're providing to them. Just, just let us think about this. You have in the same building, in the same uh, floor, okay, two doctors. Mm -hmm. One charges $200 for a consultation. The other one charges you $10. Which one will you pick? I personally am going to try to pay for the value. For me, something that's only $10, I don't know how much value is in that $10. If the other one's that much more in $200 to 10, it makes it seem like there's a lot more to get. Absolutely. And the other thing about this is, and is the, the pain you're causing in your customer, the commitment you're causing on them. Because if yep. you charge... It hurt it then, and they say, okay, I, I, I had to pay this amount, so let it make it work. Let's make it work. I, I need to put it, put it in practice. If it's free, okay, I will see one day, but it doesn't hurt me. It's, it's uh, one day a guy told about uh, commitment and involvement, and he gave the breakfast example. The pig is is committed with the, the the breakfast because it has to 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 be to be killed to be on the breakfast. The chicken no because she provides the egg. Okay, she's involved, but it doesn't hurt her. Okay, so th that's the, that's the the thing, and uh, it's very important to understand that. For instance, if you don't have if you don't generate money, you can't invest in yourself. Yep. You don't have time because you will be looking for uh, clients and clients and clients. You don't have money to try new things, to, to experiment. Uh, and this is important. You don't have time. And this is so important when you're a solopreneur to mm -hmm. build your personal brand. And to build your personal brand, you have to have the time for you. And this is very important. Couldn't agree with you more that there's so much lessons learned in that one answer for me making the time is I fortunately I don't drink that much, especially during the week. I have to make hours. I have to make time. And the way I put it a lot, even on my social media, is you make time or you make excuses. I wake up six days a week. I try to do 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. with my breaks that's dedicated to working. That's my time. You can attest to how much time just maintaining takes, the social media, the emails, the website, all non-revenue generating. And you still, like you said, have to find ways to fund everything in order to make time for yourself. You can't commit to being an entrepreneur, especially a solopreneur, if you don't have the time to commit to yourself because then you're just heading into entrepreneurship with one foot out the door, I think. Absolutely. If you could choose to have a conversation and learn from any entrepreneur, dead or alive, who would that be? Well, I, it's, it's, a, it's a, a difficult question. You oh, know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a difficult question because there are too much people there who inspires me and which um, gives me, okay, let me keep, uh, let me stay with a live guy and let's, uh, Gary V, it's some, someone who yep. inspires me. He has this uh, energy. And um, he has something for me is very important. And mostly because I'm Portuguese and we have a different mindset. We've here in Portugal, we are very, as I conceptual, does it, and uh, your uh, approach is more practical, you know? And I yeah. love that. I love that. I, I don't care for instance, one day I felt in this conversation, which is the right word to uh, call a marketing professional, a marketer or a marketeer? And I say, don't give a f about that because <laughs> as a customer, they don't want to know if you're a marketer or a marketer. They want to know which problem you solve for them. Yes. And I love this on, on Gary V. He's not okay. So, you know, no, he is very practical. He, okay. And he yep. also has something that I, I love is he doesn't have a right answer. You know what I mean? So 
this may work, but you can come with a very different solution which may work also. Yeah. And this for me is very important because I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of uh, the guru with just one answer to your problem. And one, one, one solution fits all. Yeah. And the, the problem with this is, uh, for instance, and I, I, I'm thinking about this all the time. Um, and I give the, the, the baby child starting to walk example. Which is, okay, the baby child is start walking like the, a cat or a dog there with four feet, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And then he, he wants to, to stand and start walking. And these gurus say, okay, no, no, you can't start walking. No, you have to have a strategy. And then you have to understand, you can walk, you can run, you can ride a bicycle, you can do a skating and whatever. And the, 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 the child looks at you, what the fuck is he saying? <laughs> Let it stand, let it fall, and everything. And that's my point. Uh, as a, as a uh, entrepreneur, as a consultant, how can you help someone who wants to start? Give them the hands and yeah. hold them. Mm. Don't overwhelm him or she with a strategy and with uh, whatever and tactics and operational and everything no just give them the hands okay what do you need now and what you can implement now that's that's it and i i love this this approach he has and oh uh, motivational there's something that, I, that this strength it puts in thing and results he has results it's not a, a yeah. blah 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 guy <laughs> yeah he's got results and it's a testament to working hard and then building his own brand which is now becoming a media empire but Marco, if you could pick a place for this meeting, where would this place go? Where would this meeting be? Well, I think I will take you to a terrace, uh, not so far from here, at summer, of course, because it's close to the sea, but it's uh, on the river border, you know, and it's it's an amazing place. And I will be I will be pleased to show you my my city because it's a very small but also a very beautiful city with a um, uh, whole ancient uh, buildings, you know? That's cool, yeah. And there's a, a, a church in the top of the mountain which has a, a sightseeing place, you know? And National Geographic put it, that's sightseeing in the third, third place or on the... the three most beautiful sightseeing in the world. So I wow. think this will <laughs> worth it. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to tag Gary V when the episode releases so he can come visit you yeah, in absolutely. your country. But let's look into the future here, Marco. We're going to do one year out and five years out. Where do you see yourself and all of your entrepreneurial endeavors one year from today? Okay. Um, I hope that uh, in one year, I will help lots of entrepreneurs going uh, live, okay? The embracing the power of live streaming. Uh, for instance, this morning I was talking about uh, how to face the situation we are now, and for me, one of the the solutions is to work to to work close. I, I, let me see if I find the right word in English, close if, uh, uh, to getting close to your customers, you know? And it doesn't mean uh, just on the geographic point of view. It also means on the effective point of view. So for me, live streaming is a, a very good option. So one of the things I want to have is these uh, things, maybe to create my academy. Let me see in the second uh, semester of 2021 if i can start doing that that'd be great yeah yeah because i think it's a very nice uh, thing and i think i can bring value with my all my experience i would agree with you there you oh. definitely could bring a lot of value and you have the brand and the platform so i think the academy would suit well with it but now let's look five years here marco what are we seeing from you well, there's, there's one thing on my bucket list, the business that I want to bring. And I, I thankfully, I have a place to do that, which is um, a restaurant. Ooh. I like, yes, that it's, it's on my bucket list. And also to create um, a, an agency, okay, 
so I can help more business. I can have my my team working well with my <laughs> with my ideas, and but which allows people to bring their ideas. That's something that I love to listen, love to to see what people. I like I like people who thinks, mm -hmm. you know. So some sometimes people ask me for you, which is the the best way the 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 best people to work with. And I say, it's the one that I just need on a sentence. I just need to say the, 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 the just the, the, the first words and they will finish my sentence. There, there are the people that I like to, if I have to give too much guidance, I don't want to work with that people. <laughs> Margot, you're a great guy. You gave a great episode. Thank you so much for coming on my show this time. I know the listeners are going to see all the value in your episode here. I loved really everything you did. And you talked about how you got the experience in the beginning and you went on on your own. I think that's going to relate to people. And why you chose Gary V was very different than other people who have chose Gary V. So I appreciate that answer. And when you wrap up the show with big visions like you did starting an academy, even in the midst of this pandemic, that's very uplifting for others who or on the edge thinking, should I start this next branch out of my business a little more? That may be the advice they need, but it is time for the last word. And I also do this in my other podcast series, A Mental Health Break, because I want my listeners to really get to know the guests I bring on. Is there something you could share with everyone that we did not get to touch on yet today? Well, I don't, <laughs> there's, there's one thing. I do my shows and I... I cover a broader uh, audience because I do my shows in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. I think there's not too much people in the world doing this, <laughs> which is crazy. And, and I think this could give you um, a good lesson uh, about, uh, maybe this could be a good lesson for let to your audience. Please. This never happened to me, but if it happened, that's how I will answer. Imagine you're doing something and you're not uh, excelling that thing. And someone approached to you and you say, why do you do this if you're not doing it well? The answer you should give is, I'm training. That's why I'm doing it. I'm training to improve. I don't see any other way to improve, uh, which is not doing things. Yeah. This, this is good because there's... Um, uh, I, I know by myself, I don't allow people even to judge and to give them their judgments about my, my language skills because I know I'm Portuguese. I'm, I know my mm. English is not perfect, but I'm working on perfectioning. So you sound and, great. at least doing it better because that's, that's it. I think, uh, do you understand me? Yes. So I, I did my job. Absolutely. And you are working hard and you're diligent worker in everything you do. Would you now please take the time to share your professional social media, the websites, ways for our listeners to either request your services or follow your endeavors? Okay, perfect. I'm very easy to find because I, I had this hard work finding a unique username in all <laughs> platforms. <laughs> so on face on on Facebook, my personal profile on Instagram, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn. I'm MFC at Novo, N-O-V-O, okay? You can find me on uh, YouTube. I made this uh, new channel only in English, uh, marketing sh uh, live channel, okay? And you can also find my Facebook page, marconovo.net. Be sure to check out all of his great content and it is also social media time for the show and we're on whichever platform you'd like to use. We're at That Entrepreneur Show on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. And on Twitter, we're at Podcast by Lancey. So you have updates from this show and a mental health break. Of course, my handles are at Vincent A. Lancey for all social media and YouTube. And my website is vincentalancy.com. If you check out my books, DM me. I would love to hear from you. We have Mr. Lancy Talks Mental Health, Left for Dead, A Story of Redemption, and How to Transform Your Mindset When the Norm is Changed, all are on my website now. And as always, I will end the show with a quote that inspired me and know it will for you too. This one is from Radio Personality, Bobby Bones. 
He said, the way I look at it, every day that I'm moving forward is a day I'm not moving backward. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you all on the next episode of That Entrepreneur Show. Thank you.